I'm Fred McNeil. You're watching QAC TV7. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and we're here at the Sheriff's Department's open house. I'm with Sheriff Gary Hoffman. Gary, how are you doing today? Great, Fred. Thank you. Good job in organizing the weather. Thank you. Yeah, we, we definitely... Uh you did it right today. We did. You did it we right. did. Last uh, year it rained. Why don't you tell everybody, what are all the neat things you got going on here today? We've got a lot of great things going on here today. We've got a demo from our SWAT team that's actually going on. We've got canine demos. We actually had donations from the community. Price and Gannon in Centerville actually donated a moon bounce okay. for the kids. We've got a local Boy Scout group here that's actually preparing food, breakfast sandwiches and things. It smells good. I can smell the it breakfast. It does. Here. It does. It reminds me kind of of the county fair. You know, it's just good. one of those great events. Um, we've got some private vendors here as well that are actually set up some baseball demos and things. But we've got all kinds of interaction with law enforcement, which is so important with the community for us to have. The uh, community gets to actually see a different side of us. They normally see us responding to calls, lights and siren, but here they actually get to stop, interact with the deputies. Um, they get to see how the evidence is processed. They get to see a tour of the building, all the different entities that we have. So it's a lot of fun for the family, yeah, actually. We've been walking around. You, you've got SWAT team representatives, and they tell the public about the equipment they use and how they can help us and, tragically, the person perhaps involved in the crime make it easier for everybody, right, to do it. Uh, you correct. had an EMT that was telling us he's the sign of the SWAT team, this beautiful tactical vehicle which holds 14 and can once again save lives, can be used in hurricanes and stuff like that, right? Yes, and these are resources that, Fred, I hope we never need for the community, but if we have them, we are prepared. And uh, that's one of the great things about our office is that we've got the tools that are needed to respond. I hope we never need them. I'd love them to sit idle. Um, but we also have some good partners here too, like Department of Emergency Services. They sent over one of their ambulance crews, and I'll tell you, technology, you're seeing it evolve and change, but what they can do for a person who's injured with CPR and it's all, it's amazing, just amazing, it? absolutely. The biggest thing I see, Gary, I'm amazed at the communications. I mean, the SWAT team has special communications, your EMT assigned to them has special, it's just changed the whole way we do things. It must be yes. easier for you as police officers. It is a lot easier to manage because everyone is trained better. Um, you know, but technology is always evolving, so it's one of those things we want to stay on top of all the time. And, and if you don't make it this year, definitely coming right over to the left of us, there's about a half a dozen kids jumping up and down. The breakfast food sounds great, and there's also a canine demonstration is about to come up. It is, yeah, we're looking forward to that. The canine demo is an awesome draw. So it's good. So it's a nice event. If you missed it this year, come next year. This is a yearly event, right? Gary? It is. Every year we do it in October. And the sheriff promises perfect weather every year. I hope so, Fred. <laughs> okay. I hope so. Gary, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Fred.